One of the challenges with trying to scale, especially in the contact center, and contact center being, you know, in this realm, let's say sales in particular, but any telephone inside sales of, of any size, somebody's trying to scale to the next level. What, what have you found from your experience that gets in the way or people resist? Well, one of the things that gets in the way are, is the cost. And uh, investing ahead of time for what you may plan to do. It either gets in the way in terms of not wanting that cost until you're sure you can turn an ROI on it, or being willing to invest and not knowing when to stop investing when you've overdone it and, and the ROI isn't there. So it comes from two different areas. But um, I would tell you this, that scaling a business is a it's a plan and it's a model uh, especially a contact center because there are so many relational issues and moving parts but uh at, at the same time there is an iterative factor to it so uh my advice is always the same which is build a plan see project yourself as i'm this side i'm 50 agents i'm now 200 agents what do i look like what do i feel like how do i manage that you know, what's the process and infrastructure I need? And what am I at 500 and 1,000 agents? What do I look like? What am I with hard sites versus virtual or a hybrid? In other words, go through the process and build a model. Now, recognize that I call that model the back pocket model. That's like, in, in the worst case, if nobody else has any better ideas, I can pull that out and, and do something with that, right? But don't, don't get stuck in that because, you know, business is, we were talking earlier about living life on life's terms and, and just, you know, keep taking steps forward. And often those steps are not what you were anticipating. So uh, you've done thinking, that's great. You have some structure to that thinking. You know why you want to do it and, and the way you want to do it. You may be a process-driven manager or a gamification uh, thinker. It, it, you know, you might prefer virtual to hard uh, site type of thinking. But at the same time, go with it. I, um, and I know I'm, I'm, I'm running on here, but I, I have a client today who uh, was a business that takes on brands and they they take short projects and they connect remote agents with the different brands and the brands are looking for short-term agents, kind of like an Uber agent model. Uh, but during the pandemic, he was getting kind of hurt like everybody else was and a new project came up from the government to do some PPE work. But it was uh, from the, I think the state of New York, in fact, and it was a huge project, completely off his model, nothing to do with it, except he did understand how to get agents. And he did understand uh, that his software that he used applied to it. Uh, but there was a lot of other stuff. Well, the, the question he asked me was, do I go with this or do I stick with my model? And the answer was, look, can you survive until you can get back to your model uh, if you just stick to your model? He said, I don't think I can. I said, well then, can you thrive if you do this? He said, yeah, but I might do this and never get back to my model. I said, well, one is living and one is dying. So I choose the one that's living and I know you haven't planned for that, but maybe you want to do it. And that's yeah, what and and with that, right, so if it's a change in the model and it works and it's successful, then maybe that becomes the new model, right? Exactly, and today it is. Yeah. That's, that's great. Yeah.